Well, tonight, another case of gun insanity in New York City. The second homicide of 2022, a woman and her dog shot and killed. It happened last night at a smoke shop in bed Brooklyn. New York cops at first they suspected was the woman was the woman was the intended target. That's what they thought at first. But now we're told there's a new police theory in the case. Their focus, of course, mostly looking for a killer. Here's Eyewitness News reporter and Jay Burkett. And she, she's going to be missed, and she was amazing. She was an amazing person. Neighbors in shock, police canvassing the community for witnesses and surveillance video. Jennifer Enoa was 36 years old and the single mother of three children, gunned down with her dog in the neighborhood smoke shop. In this surveillance video, she is waiting at the counter next to another man when suddenly the gunman runs up to the doorway. He will fire a series of shots into the store, striking Mizzy, Noah, and her dog before taking off into the night. It happened at 9.45 last night. The dog died at the scene. Ms. Yanoa died minutes later from a bullet wound to her abdomen. The other customer fled the scene after the shooting, and NYPD detectives are now theorizing that he was the likely target and that Jennifer Yanoa was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. She's an innocent bystander. This is horrible. This is horrible. She did everything for her kids. Carlton Bush is Ms. Yinoa's boyfriend of four years. He told reporters today that he last spoke with her minutes before she was killed, that she was going out to walk the dog. We were walking around with guns and like it's the Wild West. I don't know what it is that would possess somebody to, you know, do that to, you know, a woman walking a dog with no threat. It's a coward. Neighbors told us she was a familiar face. In the neighborhood, in the general neighborhood. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? This, this, no, this is nuts. This is nuts. Tonight, her random senseless death is a shock, even in a city where gun violence is on the rise. It is the kind of bold, brazen gunfire that has put so many New Yorkers at risk. Police have been on the scene all day tracking down leads. And of course, anybody with information is urged tonight to call the NYPD.